religion, politics, and culture, an explosive situation in the Middle East. Tonight, we're joined by Kareem Awadallah, the youngest talk show host for Egyptian national television. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. And first, let me offer my condolences to the family of the, um, the ambassador lost in, uh, in Libya and all the people who lost uh, their families, uh, or the families who lost someone. Uh, Kareem, you, you host, you're over here doing a fellowship, but you, you host a political show in yes. prime time in Egypt. How strong is the anti-American sentiment? Well, I, I don't think that we should be positioning it as anti-American, uh, you know, movement. I, but, the, but the best way to say it, it's anti-anti-Islam movement. And the people position, or there has been sensitivity between the Muslims and the United States for over than the, the 11 years ago, more than the 11 years ago, that the United States is positioned in a way out to get Islam, anti-Islam, against Islam. So there is this kind of tense that has been, you know, like accumulating and accumulating. H how much of this, and, and I don't, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but, but are you saying that you think this was precipitated by this film clip or not necessarily and it was coming anyway? No, no, it wasn't coming anyway. The, what I mean is that there has been tense already built and, and created and no one is addressing it. And there is a huge miscommunication point. Yet this movie is really very provocative. So it was like the spark that fired uh, the whole thing. It's very provocative because to the Muslims is pre presenting their uh, prophet as homosexual, as, as womanizer, as child molester, which is like a big question mark. And I think if this happened to any other prophet from the three monotheist big, re big religions, th the people will still have this, you know, upset or I think they uh, would be upset but, but I don't think there would be people murdered in embassies. Yes, this is I agree with you and I, I I just would like to report something that most of the people in Egypt and most of the Arab people uh, do not really are not happy with with the way things reached in Libya. In Egypt it's still more of a protest in a way and we are hopefully it will stay this Kareem, way. Kareem, let me ask you a question. There are many people that feel betrayed by what's going on in Egypt because oh. the United States supported Egypt uh, as you saw in the story we just had before this. The United States helped in Libya to overthrow Gaddafi. Yes. What do you say to the Americans that feel betrayed by these protests in the countries that they've supported? Well, I just would like to say something. This kind of m misconception, again, it, 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 we have a bad, strong history of this kind of tense between the Americans and the Muslims. To an extent, it reached that people in, uh, in Egypt, there was very strong rumor that the United States is pushing the government to change the syllabus of religion in the schools. And this was something sensitive issue to the people. And the United States administration or the embassies usually do not address this kind of things they they keep it silent and this gives the peop some people with prejudice a very fertile soil to go and grow more and pump the, the paranoia of uh, the people so um, your question was speaking about and we the have fine, to wrap up yeah so. the, the, the betrayal thing um, it's I don't know how to position it there is a, a big deal of miscommunication between two countries like for instance the American people should know that in Egypt and Egypt it's one of the biggest uh, countries that's very well in movie industry we're the third uh, to have any movie done going you know just to open the camera you should be having approval on the script and this is something up to the moment people call me from Egypt saying how the American administration approves such a provocative right. movie well, and we don't they don't understand that the you don't American administration has nothing to do with it of course it has nothing to do with it and in America of course we have freedom of speech yes. it may not be in good taste but there's a difference between freedom of speech and you understand you have this. to let the people and know what's your taste of freedom of speech absolutely Kareem Awadala, thank you for coming down. Thanks for having me, Mark. All right. And so